OK, today in science, you'll be choosing appropriate apparatus for separating a mixture of solids. Let's look at our vocabulary. Solid. Solid. We've looked at lots of solids. Stevie, can you name me one solid? Uh, a rock. Fantastic. Larger. Larger. Everyone do something larger. Very good. Smaller. Smaller. Show me smaller than large. Good. Apparatus. Apparatus. We're going to use apparatus to separate the mixtures. What does that mean? Polar. Um, it's something that we're going to use. Fantastic. Something we're going to use. A type of tool. Okay. Some jobs require you to separate different solids that are mixed together. If you're a gardener, gardeners sometimes have to separate the stones from their soils. Or builders have to separate things. So let's see if you can use that skill and then use it at home when you need to. The way Mr. Sin explained the learning intention was very good. I understand what to do. And if you ask me a question based on that topic, I will know it. Here's a bowl full of a mixture of solids. And you're going to first plan of which solid you're going to take out first. And I want you to write that down in your books. Okay. So first of all, we need to take out the coins and paper clips so that they're separate. So then, then, then we do well. the big particles, OK? If you put all of that in there, all the particles... No, no, what, 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 what do we want to come out? The sand. The sand. Will the sand go through the sand? We worked as a whole table while the others were working in threes and we had two bowls. But we worked as a whole table to communicate with each other. Now, who would like to do the separation of the marbles? Let's see if Iqbal can do it effectively. Could you possibly use two spoons to help you out? Go on then, Shannon. Good teamwork, this group. OK, think about what you've just said, because we're going to talk about that. It was interesting because I really, I never knew that you could actually use like a spoon to separate two different solids. Now I'm going to ask you to share mm. if you were able to separate all the solids from the mixture. Naeem. First we done the sand and the uh, rice. With your one, what went wrong though? You should have done the sand, sand last of all. They decided to do the sand, removing the sand from the rest of the materials first. Now when you do that, and you've got coins and you've got cubes, what happens to the sand? It goes into the magnetic stuff and... Um, and into the, the cubes? They went yeah. inside the cubes, so you didn't actually remove all the sand, did you? Miss McDougall. Danielle, what did we do first in our group? Oh, okay, did it work? Daniel? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was kept on shaking the sieve. Ah. Putting the whole contents into the sieve straight away would have been a lot easier and it would have worked effect just as effectively by the looks of it. Thank you for letting me know. Excellent.